Monday, April 3rd. It is the first day of state testing. My name is Leslie. I am a first year fifth grade teacher in Arizona. Um, the kids are about to start walking in, so I have to make this really super quick, but that's okay. Um, this morning for breakfast, I wanted to show you, I am going to be having avocado toast. Um, I just get these individual packs from Costco. Um, it's not the guacamole ones. It's literally just a smashed avocado. And I just bring that with a couple of pieces of toast. Um, I also wanted to quickly show you what I am doing for testing. So when the kids come in, they will have a mint on their desk. They can either have it in the morning or they can keep it for their test. Um, the pencils and scratch paper, I do have to wait to hand out until the test actually starts, but that way that they can start on a good note coming in to a mint on their desk. Um, I also have for after the test, I went ahead and bought some more Jolly Ranchers. I think I might actually pass these out before the test start as well, just so that if they already had their mint, they can their mint, they can still have something to keep their mouth busy instead of talking. And then after their test, the only thing that they're allowed to do is read a book. And usually they want to choose, but I'm going to choose for this test. It is lunchtime. Um, I just finished cleaning most of the headphones for tomorrow. I do still have four left um, to clean, but I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. I only got 20 minutes of my 40-minute lunch break usually because I did just have my last student finish, so um, he just went out to the playground, so I was in here with him. Um, I do have to run the scratch paper up to the front office to shred, but luckily... My lunch is up there anyways, so I can just do that right away, get that all taken care of, turn in my testing booklet, and get everything squared away before the end of the day so that hopefully I can get out of here at a decent time tonight. I want to check in with you and say that testing went pretty okay. Um, I did have, towards the end, some students getting kind of restless, which happens all the time. I did go ahead and pick out books for them so most of them have these who were books or what was so that one was babe ruth milton hershey what was ellis island um lloyd wright so i did go ahead and pick books for them because i didn't want it to seem like they were getting to do a bunch of fun stuff when they were done because I really wanted them to take their time. Did it work? Maybe not, but I do think that they see how serious the state testing is because usually for benchmarks, um, I will even let them like draw and color and stuff when they're done, but um, I told them not for state testing, state testing, I really want you to do your best, take your time. Um, of course, you can't ask them like to go back and check or anything like that, but I do think that it helped minimize those just rushing through and finishing. It is the end of the day. So I did go ahead and get some moving boxes from Walmart. I'm going to start packing up this today and I'm actually not going to put it in a time lapse because I'm going to film a separate classroom setup series. So this is going to be starting part one of classroom takedown. So. I will catch up with you guys in the morning probably because I don't think that I'm going to be doing anything else today school related. My classroom is in pretty good condition. My headphones are all cleaned. 
Um, my pencils are all sharpened. I showed you me doing that. And yeah, so that's all that I really have to do today. Today was a pretty good day. Afternoon recess always goes poorly. The kids had 40 extra minutes outside. The reason I did not check in with you during that time was because I did end up having to resolve a situation between fifth graders and third graders because they were outside the playground at the same time. Fifth graders were not talking nicely to the third graders. They weren't mine, but I was out there. So I wanted to try to diffuse the situation. Didn't work. So fifth graders are still going to be getting in trouble tomorrow. They might be shortening the, the recesses from 40 minutes down to 20 so that the grade levels are not overlapping, but we will see what happens tomorrow. It's kind of a play it by ear type of thing. So more on that to come tomorrow. Good morning. It is Tuesday, April 4. I am still very, very sick. I have been very, very sick since about Wednesday. So Wednesday night, I was very sick. And then Thursday, I was going to take a day off, but we had a state mandated training. Friday, I was like, it's just one more day. And then yesterday was the start of state testing. So we're still here, we're still sick, we're still pushing through, is what it is, but I am going to go ahead, open the door, get them breakfast. It's currently 7.34, I got here really late today because I took a Benadryl last night and it was so hard to wake up this morning. Um, it's always a risky, risky game when I take a Benadryl at 9 o'clock because <laughs> I, it's very hard for me to wake up in the morning and I actually had my ringer turned off last night so my alarm um, didn't actually like go off it was just vibrating but luckily I'm a pretty light sleeper so it was okay I'm sorry if you can't really hear me I honestly don't really have much of a voice today but it's gonna be a good day they have the reading part one test today so I'm gonna go ahead get the morning rolling. Hi, good morning. It is now Wednesday. I know that I didn't pop back on and talk. I did have a couple of situations with a couple of students that I had to address. Um, the afternoon break got pushed back. Lunch was insane because I was talking to administration about some of the uh, situations that had happened. So it was just a really busy day. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up for morning work today. I wasn't having them do morning work because of testing this week. However, um, I did decide that because of how chaotic it was yesterday and their routines are like out the window. So I need to have them do some morning work. So they're gonna work on their fourth quarter math packets for review before their math test starts tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna be working on this morning. And then when everybody is done, I do think that they're gonna continue working on that this morning. And then we're gonna work on rounding, um, it, we're gonna work on writing in the afternoon instead of math in the afternoon because they are just done by the afternoon with all the testing going on. So that's the game plan. Their fourth quarter math booklets, I'll show you mine, look like this. So my district gives us these every quarter and it's just like questions that their benchmarks will look like. It's review um, for what they should be working on. So with it being state testing, I said that they need to try their best because I'm not gonna be able to help them tomorrow. So go ahead and try your best. And if you have questions, we will come back to it later. But I'm gonna go let the kids in and I will talk to you later. Um, today they finished testing really quickly for the most part. Um, I had them work in their math booklets. Most of them almost finished. They were finishing it for the most part pretty correctly and I was not giving any guidance at first 
I had them try it by themselves and then we checked our answers after so that they could see what they do or do not know because their test is tomorrow. Um, the math lesson in the afternoon was a very quick mini lesson of something new. Um, this week has been a lot of review, a lot of quick things, but it was prime factorization. So they did learn it in fourth grade, but we haven't talked about it this year. So it was a review. So we did a study island group session. And what that means is with study island, they have all of the standards listed on there and you can either have certain assignments or you can play games with, but it's all state standards based. It's shown in ways that they will be shown on the test. So I liked that it had the wording that they'll see on the test tomorrow, but that way that we could review it. And by the end, they were doing so well with it. And today was the first day that we had talked about it, but I wanted to make sure that I at least briefly mentioned it so that my high students would have a chance to get those questions right for tomorrow. I am actually not staying today. I was going to try to pack up some of my cabinets only to remember that I don't have my keys and I locked them. So I'm actually headed home. Um, the headphones, I did not end up cleaning. I'm just going to have some of the students help me clean them in the morning because that's not something that I have to stay late for. And I need to learn how to delegate. And that is something that I can delegate to the class. There's no reason why I should have to do that when they love to help. Um, that would be my biggest advice, especially to type A teachers is to let go a little bit because those are not the headphones that go in their ears anyways. The biggest thing is that they do have the microphone that needs to be wiped down, but there's no reason why I should have to stay and clean that. Um, I am a huge micromanager and I really need to learn how to stop. I'm going to let them help me tomorrow. But yeah, now I'm actually leaving. Ah, I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 6th. Today is math part one of state testing and so far I think the tests have gone pretty well. We do have a short day today and then it is a four-day weekend so the kids come back from lunch and recess at 12 45 and then we dismiss at 1 15 but we have to be outside by 1 05 so we have to be literally packed up before we leave today and come back and usually I have about a five minute read aloud and then we dismiss. Um, so today is going to be a very, very easy day. Um, I would like to be able to work in my room a little bit today, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I did remember my keys today, so that's good. But I did not start the headphones, but I do need to go around and pick up the books and then let the kids in for breakfast and get the day going. Hey, it is after school now. It is 2.14 and today was a day. Um, the reason the lights are off is because at the end of the day when I do my read aloud on Thursdays, which happens to be when it happens, every time that I do my read aloud, the lights are off. They just had their read aloud. Anyway, so today was a day that is all I really have to say about that. They were just so chatty and they were out of their seats and it was after the state testing and I know that they have a 40 weekend so they're excited and they feel like they're done with testing even though they don't realize that we have testing all week next week as well. Well, like they do, 
But in their minds, they're done with testing. But I have been having contractions today. So I do have permission to go home. I'm going to rest. I'm going to try to just breathe because I don't know if you can tell, but it is so hard for me to like just breathe normally today. And then I do have the math fourth quarter booklets to put in the grade book. And then I do have the reading logs to put in the grade book. So I'm going to do that at some point this weekend as well. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I should be able to catch up with you sometime this four day weekend. I just got to Nationwide Vision. It is about one o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my glasses that I ordered. I wear contacts every single day and the only reason why I decided to get glasses was because I didn't want to have to put glasses in every time that I had to wake up with the baby at night. At two o'clock, I am going to go to a teacher store called Treasures for Teachers to see if they do have any school supplies on sale that I might need for next year to have backups just in case some of my kids can't afford some of the things that I'm asking for. I also want to see if they have any cheap math manipulatives. I'm not sure, I've never been there, so I'm kind of excited to see what it is that they have. These are my glasses. 